Well hello everyone and welcome back to Kife TV for this week's Wing Nut Wednesday where this week, as you saw, we're going to be talking about the basic rock beat which, it's called a rock beat but it's not necessarily always used for rock it can be used for any sort of genre and it's probably the most fundamental groove you can start to learn on the drums <laughs> So all we're going to need for this beat is going to be the bass drum, the snare drum and the hi-hat. So how about what we do first is get rid of all this so we can see what's going on a bit more clearly. Fab. So now that we've got rid of all the drums we don't need, this is all we really need. Bass drum, snare drum and hi-hat. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is how we notate these three drums on sheet music. So if you've got a hi-hat, it's going to look like this. A snare drum will look like this. And a bass drum will look like this. So how do we feel the rhythm when we're trying to play this music on the drums? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to break down the music into what are called bars and beats. Beats are what you think they would be. Basically, if you think of any song, that feeling that you get, that pulse that you can feel underneath, it's not necessarily there all the time. You don't have someone clapping to it every song, but you can always feel where it is. And in within... And those beats make up a bar and a bar is going to be four beats generally and now that we know what a beat is and what a bar is we can start to think of how we're going to break it down with these drums so we're going to need to use two different rhythms one of them is going to be this rhythm it's called a crotchet or a quarter note and what that is is that's one beat so it's called a quarter note because when you think about it in a four four bar which is a bar of four it's going to take up one quarter of the bar. The other rhythm we're going to use is this, a quaver or an eighth note. And similarly to a crotchet, it's called an eighth note because if you look at it in a bar, it's going to take, make up one eighth of a bar. Now that we've got our rhythm and our notation for the drums, we can start putting them together. And we're going to take this one step at a time with one drum at a time. So we're going to start with this. This is what the hi-hat's going to be doing. It's going to be playing on every single eighth note. And we're going to count that in four. So how would you count eight and four? Well what we're going to do is we're going to count up to four and in between each number we're going to put an and. So we're going to count one and two and three and four and. And that's how we're going to count our bars. So with the hi-hat that'll sound something like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's what we're going to be doing with the hi-hat. With the snare drum it's going to look something like this. So we're going to be playing on beats two and four. I'm going to count those in crotchets. You want to get in the habit of counting with the quavers in between. So we're going to count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And with the bass drum, what we're going to be doing is this, the opposite of the snare drum. So we're going to be playing on beats one and three, like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's each drum separately. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these three bits of music and we're going to put them all together into this one piece of music. And that's going to look like this. So that's got all three parts working in tandem. So we're going to have the hi-hat going one and two and three and four and bass drum one and two and three and four and snare drum one and two and three and four and. So when we put them all together, it's going to sound something like this. A one, two and three and four and And that's all there is to that basic rock beat. Now, how are we going to practice this? Well, the best way I have for practicing these things is by using this thing called a metronome. So what a metronome is, is it's one of these things, which has a small pendulum which swings on an axis and gives you a click. And that is how we keep our time in music. So obviously, don't expect you to go out and buy one of them. But what we can do is get a metronome app on our phones. I have a metronome app on my phone. It's called Soundbrenner. And I 
promise you, they're not paying me to say this, but I'd recommend getting this if you want a basic metronome that's going to do the job for free. So the Soundburner app is completely free on the App Store or on Google Play or wherever you want to get it. You can download it and what it gives you is an app with a small dial which you can turn, gives you different numbers. And what these numbers are is something called beat per minute or the tempo. So what it's going to do is if, for example, you put it to 60, 60 beats per minute, that would be one beat every second. But there's music goes on a massive spectrum from anywhere from 20, 30 beats per minute for very slow stuff to up to 400 beats per minute for some super fast swing. What we're going to be doing at the moment is we're going to go to 100 beats per minute, which is going to sound a little something like this. So here we have a metronome going at 100 beats per minute. And that is what we're going to use to practice this to start with. So you can use it instead of counting and it'll give you a solid grasp of what the time is. And if you hear, the first beat of every bar is going slightly higher, which you can do with the Soundbrenner app. And that means that you'll always know where beat one is, so if you get lost, you'll be able to come back to beat one. So now using this, we're going to practice this basic rock beat for a short while. So that's the gist of it. And once we've got that groove going, we can start being a bit creative with it. We can add extra bass drums, do extra stuff with the hi-hat, extra stuff with the snare. But that's something to experiment with in your own time. Everything I've talked about here is just following that basic rock beat, which will give you the groundwork to build up anything you could possibly imagine with your drums. And all you need are these three drums. Or if you don't have drums, practice anyway. How about right hand, right leg, left hand, left leg, right foot on the floor. You can play this. It's just the same as playing it on a drum kit and can get you the same practice if you don't have a drum kit and you want to try something new out. So that's about it for this week's episode of Wing Nut Wednesday and I'm glad you all came and had a listen. And now I'll leave you with this, just a wee performance building on that basic rock beat, something that you could try and attempt once you've got the basic rock beat nailed.